to welcome to Cruise Day Fun Live. It's great to have you with us here again, whether you're watching live or from the future. We've got exciting topics today. We're going to be talking about cruising, and we're going to be talking about not cruising in a way. Uh, today, we're talking about uh, how to make the cruise day fun last all year long, making yes. every day like a cruise day. It's That's kind of right. the whole idea behind our channel name. Yes. Cruise day fun, even when you're not on a cruise. How That's do you right. keep the spirit going, right? Right. So exactly. we've got that. And then um, hang around with us. Then after that, we're going to talk about a uh, cruise ship, give some cruise ship tips. Uh, we've been talking about Norwegian a lot lately, and we'll be talking about them again soon. But we've, uh, we're have we going to be talking about Carnival Magic, sharing some tips for the Carnival Magic cruise ship uh, that we think you might enjoy and find helpful. Um, and hey, if you're looking for something other than Norwegian, Norwegian or Carnival, Hang with us because we're going to have other things soon. We're on uh, Disney next yes, month. So we'll I'm have so more excited. Disney Cruise Line content. And just this week, we booked a cruise on another cruise on Royal Caribbean. So yes. we're going to have some Royal Caribbean co content coming up down the road. Yes. And we're also booked on uh, Celebrity. So that'll be our first yeah. Celebrity cruise. And that'll be, be that's a little ways celebrity. away. But we'll be, yeah, we, we share, we, we believe in sharing information and cruise fun from all the different cruise lines so a lot of different information coming your way um but yeah for today we're going to be talking about how to deal with when you're not on a cruise right yeah so exactly. that's that should be an interesting topic it's something we we try to do here uh, on a daily basis uh definitely missing a cruise rather be on a cruise ship but when you can't hey Let's find some other ways to enjoy That's it. That's right. But until then, before that, before all that, we got to do one very important thing. And you know what that is. So this week's cruise trivia question is, which cruise port just surpassed Port Miami as the world's busiest. Ooh, I it think just, I know this one. just man. happened in the last couple of weeks. It was just announced. Uh, a cruise port has passed up Port Miami as the world, world's busiest. Now, Port Miami has been the busiest cruise port in the whole world, basically since in the modern cruise age, for like 50 years. So wow. this is a big deal. It is. Um, another cruise uh, port has passed them and is now the busiest. Yay. Uh, and it's know, my favorite cruise port. Hey, you're giving hints. You're giving <laughs> hints. Don't give it away. Sorry, so if you know sorry. the answer, if you know which cruise port just surpassed Port Miami as the world's busiest, put it in the comments, put it in the chat, and, uh, you know, hey, maybe you'll get it right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, exactly. we've, we've got that. So we'll see if somebody puts that in there. We will uh, be sure to recognize them, but we got to move on. We got a lot to talk about we today. Do, we do. Um, we got, we got to talk about um, cruising or not cruising. <laughs> what do you do when you can't cruise? Exactly. So should we get started with that? That's right. Okay. We should get started with well, that. I, I guess I, I, I'm, I'm up first. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you are. As as we mentioned before, if you're watching from the future, you may not realize this is the future. But this is live. <laughs> live. Live. Errors and all. So when you're not on a cruise ship, something you can do to keep the cruise spirit alive, to keep yes. the fun of cruise day going, is you can watch YouTube channels featuring cruise information, cruise YouTube channels. Like What's an example of a cruise YouTube channel? Uh, I would say Cruise Day Fun. Cruise Day Fun? Never heard of it. <laughs> There's a lot of great cruise uh, cruise channels out there, and mm -hmm. uh, a lot of them that we've followed. And the reason we got into doing a YouTube channel is because we were seeing the fun they were having, sharing their cruise experiences, uh, and so we watched them. So and we so said many you can do that. Yeah, we go on lots of cruises That's and right. show what cruising is like that's true mm -hmm. and uh if you are if you do enjoy cruise content be sure to uh, to like and subscribe our channel mm -hmm. but also check out some of our friends uh right. there's a lot of them a lot of them out there and sometimes they show up on our live show uh but we recommend watching these other channels and i um if you subscribe to our channel uh you can you can be part of the youtube uh, cruise day fun That's community right. exactly. and uh, we put up polls we put up uh, images uh, photos that sort of thing <laughs> and we put up a, a poll this week and the poll was where would we find you on a sea day where would we find Ooh. you on a sea day and i gave these options okay the lido deck 
the casino, mm. the theater, or other? And which do you think was the most popular? Casino? Casino was 16%. Really? As of right now, as of just before we went on air here, 73% of the responses were they would be on the Lido deck. Oh, sure. And that maybe explains why the Lido deck is always so crowded. Yeah. Gosh darn it. That's where it goes. Theater was only 4% and other was 8%. So, yeah, that's one of the benefits of subscribing to a YouTube channel. Can, other channels do fun things like that, too. But that's number one. Keep the fun of cruise day going by watching YouTube cruise videos. Exactly. What's number two? Number two is you can go to a cruise port oh. and eat at one of the restaurants where you can watch the cruise ships go in and out. Sounds like you're talking about Port Canaveral. Yes. And Port Canaveral's got a lot of great restaurants there, Fish Lips, Grills. There's, there's several there. And, and some... Other ports, they might not have a restaurant right there, but a lot of times they'll have viewing areas. Um, right. Port Canaveral's also got that, uh, that that state park there that you can you can go to. And you can also see animals like porpoises, <laughs> pelicans. Uh, remind you of your cruise. Seagulls. Yeah. So you can you can enviously watch other cruise ships as they depart ports. So be one of those people like in those old time movies where the ocean liner is leaving and everybody's got their handkerchief out and waving it. You can, you can wave be at waving them too. back at them. Yes. Exactly. Otherwise they're just waving at the land. And that's just sad. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great one. We've yep. done that, but we do that. That's one of our that's a, something that's since, what we like to do. Yeah. So number three mm -hmm. is you can follow cruise related social media. Like, so follow us. <laughs> You can, it's not always about us, but yes, Cruise Day Fun. We are on uh, on uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. We are on Facebook. In fact, mm -hmm. we have a Facebook group. It's yep. uh, linked down below. Um, we're on Twitter. Twitter. Um, <laughs> okay. What was that? Is that the Twitter bird? Yeah. Okay. And uh, we're also on. I don't know if it's technically um, uh, social media, but we're also on the Shipmate app. Yeah. Shipmate app by CruiseLine.com. So. Great places to go and get inspiration and be reminded of the fun of cruising. Uh, we have ours linked uh, down below, but there's a, a bunch of great people, great uh, creators, I guess I call them, on mm -hmm. Instagram and, and and Facebook and Twitter that, and that we follow um, on Shipmate too. Yeah, um, yeah. So that can be a great way. I, f I find that I, that's something I do almost every day. At least Instagram is probably my favorite. But uh, yeah. So that was number three. Yes. What's number, number four. four? Number four is try making cruise food that you've had on the cruise, such as yeah. you can find like melting cake. Oh, the carnival chocolate melting cake. Yep. If you yep. if you're craving carnival melting cake, yep. you can uh, make it. And yep. they have other recipes that you can that you can find online that other cruise ships put out. Yeah. So that you can make at home. Yeah, I recently, I looked, uh, and when preparing to talk about this, um, we were talking about that as an option, and different cruise lines will do it. Right now, currently, I saw Carnival has recipes up you can, mm -hmm. you can get your hands on. Uh, Viking Cruise Line had some, and Celebrity Cruise Line, but um, I've seen other cruise lines put things up, and sometimes you'll, feed, you'll find people online trying to make their own recreation of the different recipes, right. trying to figure out the mystery of donkey sauce or, or guys burger or something some, like that. And some grocery stores actually sell melting cakes really yeah well i don't know if it's the same thing as what they have in carnival true close enough you though. could try might be might be some inspiration so keep that spirit of cruising alive even exactly. when you're on land uh that was number four so number five is going to be listen to cruise podcasts this is something i really enjoy doing there's a lot of great uh podcasts out there so maybe there's times when you can't watch the youtube videos are <laughs> are media of choice uh, very dear <laughs> to our hearts but right. there's there's other places you can go if you want to just listen to something and uh, podcasts uh like for example some of the youtube channels have podcasts as well for example there is uh, cruise tips tv they have cruise tips tv unplugged and that is a podcast you can listen to they've got great episodes with great guests uh mr and mrs cruise tips tv giving a lot of great information on there um speaking of cruise uh, creator couples there's also Tony and Jenny, La Lita mm -hmm. Loca podcast. So you can go on there and hear uh, a lot of great uh, content, interviews, and cruise information, cruise news, all that. And if you're into Royal Caribbean, there's the Royal Caribbean blog podcast, another great podcast you can listen to. And if you are a fan of tips for travelers with Gary Bembridge, 
but he's got a he's got a podcast too. Maybe we need to get a podcast. I know. I'm just thinking that. Yeah, Essential Cruise Tips podcast from Gary Bembridge. So uh, definitely a great source of information. Mm -hmm. um, one that I listen to on a pretty regular basis is Doug Parker's uh, Cruise Radio. So Cruise Date Radio. You can find him on YouTube as well, but uh, probably best known for his podcast uh, with weekly news, um, great interviews, a lot of great information. Cruise Radio podcasts. Um, I got to mention just a couple more. Um, one that's been on for almost ten years now, a West Coast Cruise podcast is the Cruise Dudes. Oh yeah, uh, Scott and Tommy, great podcast. Um, I especially recommend it for people that cruise uh, to Alaska or the Mexican Riviera. They have a lot of great information, um, a lot of great interviews, and a fun, a fun podcast to listen to. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of fun, a more irreverent, and as 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 Tommy would say, one that takes you know, is maybe an acquired taste. If you don't, if if you can get used to his New York accent, he says, you'll come to enjoy, as I do. One of my very favorites. Always be booked. Uh, Tommy is a great source of information, and he doesn't do things uh, by the book pun intended. But Always Be Booked is a great podcast to listen to. So a lot of great ideas for um, podcasts to listen to. And um, I've linked a lot of these creators uh, in our description down below. Mm -hmm. So that was number five. That's a lot. You can fill a lot of time. If you have a job where you can listen to a podcast or you're out doing yard work, I, I love them. So number six is do scrapbooking of your cruises. Oh, yeah. So I was going to show one of our scrapbooks that, that Dan actually did on our fir for our first cruise. That was our wedding. Yeah, I did our it. Our wedding cruise. I thought you did it. No, you did it. Wow. I didn't know it was that great. <laughs> but I couldn't find it. <laughs> so <laughs> It's because I lost it. Oh. No, I don't know. <laughs> you don't but know anyways, it. you have all those, like, paraphernalia, like, mm -hmm. cruise, uh, the... The, the daily planner, the fun times, the fun times, door hangs, um, the, the coasters, cards. Yeah. cards, all that yeah. stuff. So you can intermix it and make a nice scrapbook for that one cruise, and wow. you'll have it for the memories. I, I may have done one a long time ago when we first got married for our honeymoon cruise, but you've done many of them since, like you're that Alaskan little scrapbook is really spectacular. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I, I get that. I get that. I'm not that crafty, so I'm sure mine uh, got put to shame pretty quickly. But <laughs> hey, it's a great way to think of cruising and re-experience and reacquaint yourself with the reality of cruising. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. Yeah. Um, what? So that was number what Six. Was Six. Wow. Okay. Number seven. How about souvenirs? <gasps> Look behind us. Uh, we get we like to put up, we rotate them once in a while. We have some of our favorites up there that kind of share the theme. But souvenirs, put them up and display them. Share them with friends, guests visiting your home. Hey, you've got a podcast or you got, well, podcast doesn't work so well. But if you've got a video podcast or a YouTube channel, hey, put it on the wall. Yeah. Share them. Um, organize them by the destination or cruise line. A lot of great ideas with that. You can put a, a curio cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. Or if you have guests coming over instead of, giving them the normal glasses you can give them cruise glasses like like uh olaf drinking yeah. cup or yeah. the drinking cups from the different various cruise lines so everyone has a different cruise line and mm -hmm. they can know which glasses there is for the weekend so aaron if you're watching that's my my brother he's going to be <laughs> staying in the uh cruise day fun uh, bed and breakfast in a couple weeks uh I think, get I think you're gonna have a special drinking uh, vessel of some kind. Uh, he was easy. Wow, that's pretty. That's quite an honor. <laughs> I tell you. So um, that was number six. That was number six? eight. No, that was number six. Oh, okay. So that was number seven. No so, souvenirs. Oh yes. Yeah, so number you go. You're <laughs> up. Number eight is read cruise related books. Oh yeah. And there's a lot of cruise related books out there mm -hmm. there's cruise confidential by brian david burns. burns yeah that's that's a classic a classic uh book that that uh, we actually we listened to an audio tape on on the way to one of our cruises i remember that mm -hmm. but he's got a whole series of books now but that was his book about his experience working on um carnival cruise lines carnival conquest and some other ships and kind of telling the behind the scenes stuff that happens on board it was uh, it's it's Maybe not for the whole family, but it's definitely an interesting read. There's also The Joy of Cruising by Paul 
C. Thornton. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. A lot of great uh, profiles on cruisers and their experiences and stories. That's a that's a that's a great book too that we 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 personally own. And one from the same author, mm. "Cruising Interrupted" by Paul C. Thornton. Oh yeah, the sequel, the one, the, the "Joy of Cruising" part two, sort so, so to speak, that uh, that he put out after the stop of cruising when everything stopped. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that's a great read too. And this is, this one I just recently finished mm -hmm. is "Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship" by Morgan O'Brien. Oh yeah, and he also has his own cruise. Um, YouTube. YouTube called mm -hmm. the Very Unofficial Travel Guy. Yeah, that's this is one of the first uh, YouTube uh, cruising channels we ever watched. Is uh, uh, Morgan O'Brien's great, great uh, source of information. A lot of fun. If you haven't watched the Very Unofficial Travel Guide, uh, check him out. Check his, his channel out. His videos are really fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah, whether it's the big red couch or it's on board a ship, he uh, and, and he doesn't pull any punches. He shares a lot of great positive information, but he also tells you about the crazy things that happen, like well, having to get stitches on one of his cruises. Exactly. So, yeah, so that's a that's another great thing you can do. Is you can read those books. Mm -hmm. So let's move on. Number nine, Number the ninth. Nine. Keep cruising alive. Keep the fun of cruising alive by making your own versions of your favorite cruise drinks. I'll drink to that. Yeah, we did that with um, Norwegian's uh, cruise drink, their mango Green meltdown. We ordered, mm. we ordered up the ingredients yeah. and put them together in the blender and made our own mango meltdowns. It's so good. That was, that was a lot of fun. So that's um, what's the channel? Um, the the. Um, mm. uh, <laughs> The degenerate cruisers. Oh my they've gosh! Done a lot they're of hilarious. videos. They've done a lot of videos where uh, they make up the drinks. Um, but yeah. other, other channels have done that too. That's not something I don't think we've done a video of. But that's no. something that can be a lot of fun to do at home, it is. especially if you have a blender. It comes in handy for a lot of those cruise drinks, like pina coladas and like the daiquiris and all that. Okay, don't sing. Okay, <laughs> what's the? Oh, well, we're up to number ten. What I is know. number ten? Ten is look at pictures you took on a cruise. And share with your friends and family. Wow. Yep, that's that's a good one. Remember, that we love the pictures. Share them. So these are some of our ideas on how to keep the fun of cruising going. Um, my favorite has got to be to watch Cruise Day Fun. Yeah. I'm biased, though. <laughs> hey. And there's a lot of other great YouTube uh, cruise channels that we watch. And uh, we, we think that's the best way to keep things going. And also to learn and plan your next, learn about cruising and plan your next cruise. Exactly. So Do um, the comparison. Yep videos yep. and Compared. everything yeah so that's a lot of fun so that's been um our ideas for how to make every day like a cruise day exactly um, now we need to do this oh <laughs> hi so this is cruise day fun and this is your cruise hero of the week and this, the cruise hero of the week is Melanie Sun Sunner. She's from the Philippines. She serves on the Norwegian Escape, and she's a server at Oceans. And she's one of the only servers who brought me a straw. Wow! No one else, none of the other servers asked me if I wanted a straw, but she asked if I wanted a straw for my Diet Coke. And I said yes, and wow. it made my day because yeah, she was so ask. thoughtful. Wow! Yeah. And so that's I'm not unless, I'm not going to ask you to say your last name again. So apologies if we didn't get the last name <laughs> part right. But it's Melanie. Yeah. From the Philippines at Oceans on Norwegian Escape. Yeah, I think she's she's uh, one of many awesome crew members on that ship. And if you have a cruise member, uh, somebody or anybody that made your last cruise a special experience, be sure to share it with us. Yeah, you can email us at info at cruisedayfun.com. Let us know who your cruise hero was, whether it was exactly. a member of the crew, uh, somebody at, on a port excursion, fellow passenger, whoever it was, email us and let us know, and we may share them right here on Cruise Day Fun Live as our cruise hero of the week. That's right. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. fine. I always get caught. <laughs> okay, get it together now. You got it? Yep. Okay. 
Okay, let's share 10 tips for carnival magic. 10 tips for carnival magic, starting with... Oil yourself at Prime Steakhouse with a free bottle of wine on Embarkation Day. Okay, Prime Steakhouse is the steakhouse on Carnival Magic. Uh, delicious uh, steaks, of course. And, of course, they have not just steaks. They also have seafood oh. like lobster. Yes. And like Joy was saying, this special deal they've had going for some time now is you can get a bottle of their um, house wine, white or red. Um, and I think if you don't want that, they offer you a discount on a, a different bottle. But that's only on the first night of your cruise. So be sure to book Prime Steakhouse on the first night of your Carnival Magic Cruise. Number two, escape to the quiet escape bar. So we discovered this little bar on the Atlantic deck. It's uh, down behind the um, atrium bar. There's a card room where you can play cards and games. But if that's, and that could be a great quiet spot to go, but across the way, we found this little very red bar uh, called the escape bar with comfortable couches. It's a quiet spot with great air conditioning to get away from the rest of the ship. If it seems just, if it's a sea day and there's too much going on, you want some quiet, go to the escape bar, mm -hmm. aptly named. If you just want a place to read or mm -hmm. play games with your family or That's hang right. out. That's right. And what is tip number three? N number three is get your custom made tacos at Blue Iguana Cantina. Yeah. Mm, they're so good. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Blue Iguana has a lot of great food, but they're, they're soft shell, custom made tacos. They make them just the way you want them. You tell them what ingredients you want on it, and then you can go to the salsa bar and add extra ingredients. But one thing I really love about the tacos in particular is that they actually make the tortillas right there on the ship. They've got a special machine that they put the rolled up masa in, and it goes down a conveyor, and it cooks it, flattens it out, and gets it ready for you so you can have your custom tacos made with the toppings just the way you want it. It's a great it's fantastic, treat. Yeah. Great treat. Yep. It's one of my favorite spots. And guess what? It's complimentary. It doesn't cost anything extra. It's included it's in the price of your fare. You yeah. gotta love that. Complimentary. I do. I do. Now, let's go to tip number four. Or is it tip number three? Yep. Tip number four. That's you. Taking a stage show at Playlist Productions. Uh, Playlist Productions has a lot of great shows like. When we were on board, 88 Keys is a great show with uh, features piano music, uh, piano rock music, classic hits that you will enjoy and want to sing along with. Um, and before the show, another like extra bonus tip is they had warming up the performer from the piano bar. Oh, so nice. that's another spot you can go before or after the shows. But go to the main stage, check out the playlist production shows on Carnival Magic. Tip number Five. Five. Indulge in some fresh seafood at the Seafood Shack. We enjoyed peel and eat shrimp. That was really good. Mm -hmm. And you could get um, crab or clam chowder in a clam bread chowder. bowl if you wanted to. Yep. That yeah. was really good. Yeah. And they also have um, fried shrimp. They call it buffalo shrimp and um, fish and chips. Yeah. A lot of great items there. Lobster rolls. I'll put mm -hmm. up the menu. Of course, the prices can change over time, but this will give you an idea of what they have and the different options. A lot of great fresh seafood. And of course, this a la carte does cost uh, a little extra, but for an extra special treat for a snack or a lunch, go to Seafood Shack. Yes. Definitely so good. That. A lot of people don't discover that until the second or third day on the cruise. It's the back of the, the Lido deck. Mm. Um, and then let's see. Tip number six is going to be grab a drink. And play a game at the Red Frog Pub. Ooh, fun. Yeah, the Red Frog Pub is a cool Caribbean-themed pub with uh, plenty of places to sit uh, and great drinks, beer on tap, uh, including Thirsty Frog. And uh, they've even got uh, games and live, musics, live music that you can <laughs> enjoy at certain times at night. The Red Frog Pub is a great spot to go. And, and during our cruise, there were a lot of times when I found the other bars crowded and people just didn't seem to notice the Red Frog Pub. It's kind of tucked away behind the Alchemy Bar. But uh, check it out if the other bars are full. It's got a great, It's a, you can spend hours there. It was a great meeting place where if I didn't know where to look, I would always check the Red, <laughs> the Red, what's it called? Red Frog Pub. <laughs> red Frog Pub. And I'd be able to find them there. Okay. 
All right. Well, I don't know what that says about me, but go ahead. What's number seven? Number seven is have an Italian dinner at Cucina del Capitano. Cucina del Capitano. Yes. Yeah. Great Italian food. Uh, definitely check that out. It's uh, above the buffet area, so it's a deck up from the Lido deck. Uh, it's fine dining, sit down Italian food. It's so uh, good. Great family atmosphere. Uh, a lot of great food, pasta, of course. Uh, this is the, I think it's called Nana's Meatball. It's a huge meatball appetizer. Mm -hmm. um, and I think our favorite thing, though, has got to be the garlic bread. Oh, yes. Oh, covered in I great love that Parmesan. garlic bread. Yeah. So yummy. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. So I know you're a big fan of, of Cucina del Capitano and Italian food. I'm mm -hmm. a big fan of number eight, the eight. Guy's Burger Joint. Oh, yeah. The best burgers at sea, in my opinion. Guy's Burger Joint has a great walk-up stand complimentary burgers doesn't cost anything extra uh they have a great selection of different burgers you can get them the way they bake them or you can go over the toppings bar and add extra toppings bacon that's uh, what i sauteed like to mushrooms do. and onions i know you do um and here's the menu if you want to see the different options you like to get a plain jane without cheese right yep that's yep. how i like it so yep. i can do put my own toppings on it that's right i usually get a ringer I like the, the, the cheeseburger with the uh, onion ring and barbecue sauce. But they've also got the big patty, uh, a burger with a packy, a patty, <laughs> a burger with a patty made of bacon right on yeah. top of it. Talk about inventive. Yeah. So that's number eight. Check out Guy's Burger Joint. What is tip number nine? Number nine is stay on board while in port. Yeah. Port days, the, the, especially if it's a port you've been to before, it can be really tempting to get off the ship with the crowd and go off and explore and do some shopping or take an excursion or whatever. But if you've been to the port before or you just need a break, stay on board. It gets a lot quieter. There's a lot of um, areas you can hang out with and enjoy a lot less uh, crowded atmosphere and just Plus, enjoy the quieter. Plus ship. you have more, better access at the slides. Mm -hmm. There's not such a long wait. Yep. Plus, you can do the um, the massages or at yeah, the, spa. the spa. They usually have it at discounted rate. Yep. You can get so. some extra deals. Then now, sometimes some things are not going to be open, like the casino when you're in port. But most a lot of things are, and so you can find uh, you can find a more quiet experience. Maybe enjoy the Lido deck, a little less crowded when mm -hmm. the ship is in port. Exactly. So, tip number ten. And I got to mention it again. Tip number 10, a breakfast alternative. Got to gotta recommend Blue Iguana Cantina. Go to Blue Iguana Cantina and get yourself a breakfast burrito made up just the way you want it. Tell them what ingredients you want it. Uh, you can get some salsa on the side. Uh, I also like to get these arapas here. That's these little uh, yellow cornmeal uh, type delicious uh, breakfast items with melting cheese inside of them. Um, they also have... Um, What's it called? Huevos Rancheros. Yeah. It's like a little stacked taco with an egg on top of it. A lot of great items at uh, Blue Iguana Cantina. So that's our 10 tips for the Carnival Magic. We hope you found that helpful. Yes. If you enjoyed that information, be sure to give us a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. It's just a way to follow us so you see our future cruise video content. That's right. Yeah. So I neglected here to mention, um, we got to say hi. I see, I, we see you there. Uh, we're, uh, Renda Sita, uh, she, she says she showed up late. I'll replay. Well, I don't know if you're still here or you're waiting to go back to do the replay, but we understand um, that's the nice thing about um, YouTube Live is you can always watch the videos later. Um, exactly. It's fun when you're, when you're here with us so you can comment along. Um, and if you're watching this in the, from the future, Consider watching us live when we are on again in the future, exactly. which in this case is going to be um, a week from today, which is going to be the 25th, I believe, um, of March. Uh -huh. uh, but Saturday is at right. 3 o'clock um, Eastern time. Mm -hmm. We are here live. And um, I know that the following the following Saturday, which happens to be April 1st, so this isn't a joke, uh, we are actually not going to be on because my brother's coming and he's going to be sleeping in the uh, the Cruise Day Fun Studio, or the bed and breakfast as we call it. So, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so just every once in a while we have to miss if we're on a cruise, if we have something going on with family, but um, yeah, we're usually here on Saturdays at 3 o'clock, so be sure to tune in. I don't know if we've figured out a topic for next week yet. 
I think we're still working on that. Um, we have a video coming out tomorrow um, that features the uh, Norwegian again, Norwegian Escape uh, state rooms. If you're curious to see more about that, we've yeah. kind of edited together the information we shared on that a couple weeks back. And uh, we're going to have more information coming up um, from different cruise lines. But I'm thinking next week, I'm thinking next week we might do Carnival again. We'll see. Comment down below and let us know if there's a particular cruise line or topic you'd like to hear about. And we'll be sure to include that in an upcoming uh, video or a live show or both. Yeah. yeah. So anything else we need to share? Um, Be safe and be kind to each other. Oh, is that your new closing statement? <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, be safe and be, oh, you're supposed to say it. Be safe and be kind to each other. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.